Okay, thank you, Chilo. So my name is Rafael Arraes. I work at uh, Inestec, and we are a uh, developer for the ROS uh, FTP uh, program, uh, specifically for one project related with the bridging between ROS and CodeSys, which is a soft uh, PLC, software-based PLC. Uh, before getting into the modules that we develop, I just have some slides presenting very briefly uh, in Esctec, the company where I work. So in Esctec is a research center which, uh, with a, a structure very similar to many research centers in, in Europe. So we mainly bridge or aim to bridge the, the academia world to, to the companies. Uh, we are located in Portugal, in the north part, in Porto. We are around 700 uh, researchers right now, and about half of these are PhDs. In terms of the domains of application, uh, InescTex covers several uh, areas, uh, from sea technology to energy to media to health technology. And uh, the one that I, the, the, the tech for where I work is the tech for industry. And in the last few years, we have led several uh, European research projects. In the uh, left side of the sli slide, there are two initiatives wh which we participated, both for the automotive industry in the development of uh, mobile manipulators, and on the right side, the right side videos are from projects which we are coordinating right now. Uh, on the top side, it's scalable project, which is um, also for the automotive industry, and I'll get back to the, this project later on. And on the bottom part is the FASEN project, which is focused on the mo development of mobile manipulators to the aerospace sector. Focusing now on what we developed on the, on the FTP. So the challenge of, of, uh, that we presented was to uh, enhance the way that connectivity between ROS and automation is done. So right now, uh, although there are packages and protocols stipulated to communicate via field bus. This is always time consuming and not always straightforward. So the solution was to develop this ROS code sys bridge that enables developers to quickly uh, establish bidirectional communication uh, between ROS and code sys, which then act as a communication bridge to many field buses, uh, such as Profibus, CanOpen, Endercat, and, and so on. So the way that we did this is uh, we developed this uh, communication layer based on shared memory. So basically there were um, this middle layer in the image, in the right side of the image, showcases the, 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 the architecture overview and the shared memory is the middle uh, communication, uh, the communication middleware that we use. Um, and uh, to establish communication between a ROS node running on a ROS ecosystem and the code CS application running uh, as a soft PLC uh, runtime uh, module. All of these can be installed in an uh, embedded device such as a BeagleBone Black, but it can also run on a Linux uh, distribution or a, uh, a normal computer as well. So currently, uh, we are on the way to, to finalize our first release. Our first milestone of the project is going to be finalized in December. Uh, so right now, uh, we support most of the, the common types of messages that ROS uh, has, and also uh, that IEC 61131-3 uh, has as well. And we are currently working, and so it's a work in progress, on the uh, adaptation of uh, some uh, non-fixed uh, length uh, arrays of, of messages. On um, the ROS implementation, so we try to make the things as simple as possible. So this is the, the class of the, of the ROS code uh, uh, bridge. So in short, is a topic-based communication, so it's based on, 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 on ROS topics. Um, the, the shared memory written, so the communication from ROS to code sees, acts as a subscriber callback, while the other way around is basically a publisher to, to a topic. So it's very simple to um, implement this on, a, on an ongoing project or even create a, a new ROS node to, to have this, this system in this showcase here on this, on this image. Um, and yeah, so as we can see, it's just a matter of doing this in part and then uh, instantiating the classes and then declaring this as we would with a normal ROS uh, publisher or subscriber because all of this is, uh, all of the information is transformed into ROS topics. 
And the same uh, ideology applies to the CodeSys implementation, so we try to, for this to be as, uh, as, as simple and as uh, usable as possible. Right now, one of the things that we are working is to have um, an automated procedure to go into CodeSys projects and try to learn what developers did over there and impart this knowledge to, 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 to ROS, to the ROS application. And this will be the focus of the second and third milestone of the, the projects. And here we have uh, one small example of, of application. So we are using uh, this uh, methodology in many of our research initiatives. On this project specifically, so this video was recorded a few months ago at uh, Simodos Plásticos, which is one of the use cases from the Scalable Project, a plastic, uh, automotive plastic uh, manufacturer in Portugal. And we are using the ROS code CIS communication on two different uh, domains. The one on the left side showcases how the bridge is, going to, is being used to communicate between a ROS system and a uh, Yaskava uh, robot, a Yaskava controller. Uh, so this controller had not yet uh, uh, drivers for a ROS, and through this communication we are able to, to communicate with it via, via Modbus. And on the right side of the, the image, we showcase how we, uh, sorry, I mixed it up too. So the other side of the image is the communication between the ROS system and the PLC, which is controlling this conveyor uh, belt line. Finally, to conclude, so uh, as I mentioned, ongoing, we have uh, the support for more data types and custom data structures. So the objective is to, until the final uh, release for the first milestone, we should have all of the common ROS messages already supported by, by the tool and also provide tools for developers to uh, easily create their own uh, custom messages. Um, we are also focusing on developing more expedite ways to make the, the, the usability of the bridge even enhanced, specifically on the code CIS part. And uh, as a result of the first milestone, we are publishing the results on this uh, GitHub uh, repository, which you can also access uh, right now, uh, and it has already some some code which is usable, although with the limitations that I that I mentioned. And um, for the future, um, we want to, besides the topics that I mentioned, we really want to push forward on the support for ROS services and ROS actions as well. And yeah, that's it. So if you have any questions, I don't know if you have time now, but uh, I will be around. So please come and talk to me. Thank you. Do we have a, a, a quick question?